Hey guys, welcome back to another. Today we're going to be doing a simple OpenVPN server installation. Let's go ahead and get started. So you're going to need a server to uh, to set up the OpenVPN server on. Now, if you're on a budget, I recommend the $1 per month plan from uh, Vermac here. I'll have the link in the description. And yeah, th this, this plan is basically good if, uh, if it's just going to be you or one other person. But if you have a bunch of people uh, that's going to be accessing the VPN, it's not going to be a good idea just because they do limit you to 250 gigabytes of bandwidth and then they will overcharge you if you go over that. Now, if you're looking for something a little more reliable and, um, I don't know, maybe better customer service, you're going to want to check out Vulture. Just because uh, I've been with Vulture for about two years, I'd say now, and they have the best customer support uh I'd ever say and yeah uh, yeah they literally answer any questions you have and yeah simple as that oh and plus if you use my affiliate link which will be in the description you will get uh, 20 or you will actually my bad you will get $50 to try out the platform at no additional cost to you and I may earn $25 and yeah so it's a win-win for both of us and just in case you're a DigitalOcean fan, there is a DigitalOcean sign-up link in the description, which you will also get $50 at no additional costs for free to the DigitalOcean platform. And yeah, so once you have your first server deployed, let's go ahead and click this. Let's copy the IPv4 address. Let's open our terminal. Move that so you can see it. And you're gonna wanna type SSH root, that's the default user by uh, most of these VPN companies. Then you're going to want to copy that IP address, paste that IP address, click enter, type yes. And then since I uh, uploaded my SSH keys, I got to type a different password. But if you didn't do that, all you have to do is copy this password and paste it. All right, once you're in the server, it's going to be a good idea to type app update. Basically, this is just going to update all the, uh, the repositories and whatnot uh, on the server. And then to actually upgrade those packages you're going to want to type apt upgrade i'll see you back in a second once you once i finish this all right and then once you see a little uh, menu like this you're going to want to type apt upgrade and your server is going to be upgraded and type yes if you're prompted there and as you can see it's now downloading the new updates and it will apply them after it finishes that i will again see you back in a couple of seconds all right, and after that command finishes executing, we'll be back to our shell here. And what you're gonna wanna do is copy that and then just paste that, click enter. And here's where the fun starts. Oh, and by the way, if you're looking for uh, for this little text here that you're supposed to copy and paste, I'll have that in the description. Anyways, let's get back to it. So, oops, looks like I may have accidentally clicked enter there. Let's just go ahead and restart that. All right, so this most of these should be automatically configured for you but uh, they may not be the best settings for you and if that's the case just follow what I'm doing so you don't want to touch this IP address here because that it automatically grabbed your public IP address just click enter there All right next up we want the protocol we're going to be using so just for uh, for this example I'm going to be using TCP over port 443 uh, this is a very common configuration for VPNs just because it's really hard to, uh, to detect for a network to detect if it's a VPN or not just because it's running on the uh, the same port that HTTPS is on and because you know both uh, HTTPS and your VPN are encrypting the data in transit. All right, next up we're going to want to choose the second option here which is 1.1.1.1 and that's basically just Cloudflare's DNS provider. It's basically the most trusted DNS provider uh, right now. All right, and now we just simply have the client name. This is the name of the uh, the profile we're just gonna pass around. So for my sake, I'm just gonna call it Carnegie dot, or no, just Carnegie. And then yeah, just click enter or whatever key, it doesn't really matter. And basically what it's gonna do is it's gonna install OpenVPN server right now and configure uh, configure it with your settings that you provided. All right, let's just wait a few seconds, and this should finish pretty soon. All right, then once your profile is finished being created, you should see it right here. And now we're going to want to get this profile to our local computer so we can actually use it. So what you're going to want to do is type exit, then SFTP root at the IP address. 
go ahead and paste that password you should have copied earlier. And just go ahead and simply type git kernegi.ovpn or whatever you named yours. Type exit again. And now we have that profile locally on our computers. So you can see the file does exist because it's ASCII text. Now you're going to want to To further demonstrate how you uh, how you set this up with Mac and iOS, you're going to want to take that OVPN profile you had and go ahead and attach it to an email that you're going to send to an email you have access to on your iPhone. So as you can see here, here's that Carnegie profile, and I'm going to go ahead and send this email. Sent. All right, go ahead and open up your email on your iOS device. Click the email we sent. Now click the profile, and what you're going to want to click is copy to OpenVPN. And then just go ahead and click add here, click add again, and go ahead and connect to that profile. And as you can see, we have successfully connected to our new profile. I'd like to thank you for watching, and uh, yeah, see you next time.